Yo, so hopefully this is a quick build. If you guys know what this, if you guys could see this, this used to be a pasket, the uh, old, you know, personal ground armored, wait, pasket, personal armor support for ground troops. Yeah, I'm dyslexic right now. Well, so this is one of those, and it has a bunch of Kevlar in this. I, I ripped this one apart because it had a bunch of writing on it, and someone was using it for airsoft. I bought it off eBay. You can I don't know, you used to be able to find these for 30, 40 bucks. I had a, I have a couple of these. This is the one I ripped up. There's about 12 layers of Kevlar in there. Um, there's sewn in panels of like, I forgot, I think it's layers of three. Three sheets of Kevlar for one panel. And there's four of those panels. Or either, something like that. But there's 12 layers of Kevlar. And, uh, and you can hear me ripping open this. This is a plate carrier, standard, you know, little molly thing. Uh, I'm just trying to rip it open the velcro. Rip open the velcro here. You can see one of these. I have a AR either 500 or 550 steel plate in here. It was wrapped in one of the sheets from the basket vest. So this is one of the the panels from the basket vest. And this is just one side. This is this was a medium vest. This is probably like the left or right side that because the it it's like a it's more of a jacket than a vest. And uh. You could just fold them up. I fold up this over this duct tape sheet of a AR 500 plate. Sorry. Um, so it can reduce spalling because this doesn't have any, you know, spalling protection for that plate. But there's uh, lots of uh, Kevlar. You can just buy a normal carrier. I got this off eBay. And these are just normal, uh, empty, no ballistic protection carriers. Um, this is from a first choice armor back when they were in business I guess because <laughs> I got these hella long ago so these are probably not on eBay anymore but you can always find basket vests so these are more of the Kevlar sheets panels that I was telling you these are like three layers or four layers of Kevlar um, and you can just fold them up stick them in a carrier and you can triple these up like I have this one super up <laughs> super layered it gives you minimum less calc coverage but it'll still protect your vital organs and stuff and um, you know you can't guarantee it and there's still going to be a lot of blunt force trauma so if you're really worried about blunt force trauma you can always use these uh inside pocket plates and put like a little steel plate inside or some kind of aluminum plate something just to you know break some of the blunt force trauma and that's the back of that carrier so yeah, here's more of the sheets of Kevlar from the basket vest. I want to make this video short because when I upload it, it takes uh, quite a bit, a bit of time. And I, I usually just <laughs> quick film this real quick. So here, some more of the Kevlar sheets, and you can just throw these in carriers and stuff. But also, like people, I see a lot of people making homemade armor and shit. Well, one easy way, I wouldn't. I'm not saying that it will work, but you should guys should play around with fiberglass and duct tape because uh, that's originally how I was protecting from spalling from my uh, this is a duct tape 550 plate in there AR500 and 550 whatever this is just fiberglass and that's almost like Kevlar I mean I don't know the density and all this other stuff but uh, at least it'll be a uh, another benefit to Kevlar and in, in, in this is, is it's fire resistant so yeah that's a benefit at least but hopefully, well, I'm not guaranteeing this plate is on my back, so it's fiberglass and duct tape <laughs> to, to reduce spalling. And uh, I think fiberglass might work for level 3 alpha, but, you know, not, not level 3. That's why I got the AR-500 plates. But, yeah, you can just, there's lots of Kevlar in the uh, basket vest. You can use a shoulder pad, like in this Molly vest. I got everything buried. So like in this molly vest, you can use the uh, shoulder pads from the basket and stick it in the side. And this there's a shoulder pad from the basket vest in here for uh, your kidneys and liver. And uh, you know, yeah, I can't open it right now, but this is the, for the cummerbund. You can stick the shoulder pads from the basket in there. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So peace.